Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain how to draw shear force and bending moment diagram for three point loads acting on cantilever beam. We have three steps to follow: reactions, shear force, and diagram and bending moment diagram. Okay. So first of all, we have to calculate reactions. Okay. Reactions are at R A because we have only one support will be total load only. Okay. How much is the total load? Four plus three plus two will be nine kilonewton. At R A, so it will be nine kilonewton acting upwards. Based on this nine kilonewton and all these other numbers, we we can draw shear force diagram. Okay, so nine kilonewton will go upwards. So it's a nine kilonewton. Then we move on to point B. Once we get to point B, we have to go down four kilonewton. Okay. Once we get to point C, we have to go down. 3 kilonewton and finally we have to go to point d and go down by 2 kilonewton so in here we have 9 kilonewton so we have 4 kilonewton obviously 4 kilonewton at this end as well so 3 kilonewton and then 3 kilonewton and here we have this is 2 kilonewton and at this point we have a zero because we cover all the distance of 9 Okay so this is our shear force diagram at positive zone now we have to calculate bending moment diagram i mean we have to draw bending moment diagram before drawing bending moment diagram we have to calculate it okay so bending moment so bm at point d so we draw bending moment from right to left okay so minus 2 multiply by 0 is equal to 0 kN bending moment at point c will be minus 2 multiply by 1 uh, i forgot to write the distance of the beam so it's 1 meter each okay so minus 2 multiply by 1 will be minus 2 kN bending moment at point b so it will be minus 2 because minus 2 from here we have to start taking load from the far end we have to cover all the loads and all the distance multiply by to get to point b is 2 then we have minus 3 multiply by 1 you can put them in a bracket it's okay minus 4 minus 3 is equal to minus 7 at point B we have minus seven. Bending moment at point A will be from start to end. I mean from D to A, so it will be minus two multiplied by three. Okay, minus minus three multiplied by two. Then we have minus again four multiplied by one. So it will be. Then we can say plus. Nine multiplied by zero, obviously it will be zero. Minus six. Then we have again minus six, minus four, plus zero. So we will get all sixteen kilonewton. Sixteen kilonewton. Okay. Now based on these numbers, we have to draw our bending moment diagram. So at point D we are zero. Okay, it's zero here. At point C we are minus two. So minus two is roughly I would say here. At point B we are minus seven. So minus seven would be somewhere here. Okay. So this is all kilonewton. And at point A we have sixteen. So sixteen will be somewhere here. Obviously minus sixteen. So minus sixteen. Now we have to connect these points. to get our final diagram this is in negative zone just because we have all the numbers in negative so that's how you can draw a bending moment diagram having three point loads on cantilever beam that's it for today thank you for watching my video please don't forget to subscribe my channel mm -hmm.